math dad? This is... You're not. I'm not math dad. <laughs> I am science mom. This is math dad. And we're back for challenge problem number 45. If you are new to this series, they are fun little logic problems, spatial reasoning, things like that. And great exercise for your brain. And you can do it along with me. See if you can beat me to the answer. Or you can pause, log into Desmos, and have a scratch board that you can use with the mouse to give it a try yourself. That's right. You don't even have to log in. Just click on that link and you can try out the activity or give it to your students. All right. Challenge 45 is a grid shading puzzle. What you are going to do is drag these dots up onto the grid somewhere. The numbers along the side of the grid tell you the pattern in which you'll find consecutive squares. So for example, this number one on this row here tells you that there's just one square that, well, one, that gets shaded. One shaded square. Yep. This three tells you that there will be three consecutive squares shaded, whereas oh. this two one will t tells you that there will be two shaded, a gap, a gap and, and one. one. So this this one is just a warm up for you to make sure you understand the rules. But go, go ahead and drag some around and see if you can solve this first one. Okay. So for example, if I have my three consecutive ones here then that means this is the only one in this column. Okay. Um, if I do two and then one, that satisfies this one, but then I'm in trouble here and here. So my two has to be there, and my one has to be there, I think. Um, I'm just going to kind of throw them up here and then arrange them after I get them up here. So we have one and two, one and two, two and one, one and three, and that's all the points. And now we're in trouble here because we have three instead of two. Um, we're in trouble all over the place. Good grief. Uh, don't, don't, don't give me a hint just yet. Uh, Interesting. Um, wow. That's it. Oh, I, I didn't even think I was done. I hadn't yeah. finished checking it yet. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's right. So, oops. Yeah, the coordinates at that point keep showing. But, um, yeah, there happened to be a column with a five. So you could have gotten that column for free. Oh. And this column with the one, one, one. You were focused on the rows, but... Yeah, but no, yeah. but it's easier if you look for ones where you immediately know what it has to has to be all the way across. Exactly, that and, and that would have told you that this one had to go in between them. Gotcha. So had the three. Yeah. All right. So, any questions? No, I like this. All right. Good. Good. We're going to do a slightly bigger one here. I've pre-filled in a few of the squares. I'm giving you three minutes to do this. Mm -hmm. Any questions? And we're good to go. Uh, yeah, I. I'm always really curious to see how much time you're allotting because that gives me a good guess as to, <laughs> all right, how hard is this going to be? So three minutes. Three minutes. We'll see if all you right. can pull it off, science mom. And if you're watching, click in the description. You can try this yourself. Indeed. Your time begins now. All right. So what do we have here? <coughs> the one, one, one. Um, if we have a point there already and we need to have gaps in between, that means this one, this row has to be that way one and then a gap and then two and then one has to look like this because otherwise we wouldn't have gaps. Um, are there any others where I can just right off the bat say I know what they look like? No, there are not. So now it's time to guess. That one's done. One, two, four. Two consecutive ones would have to be down there. And then if I have three in this row, they have to be like that. And if I have one and then three, the bottom three need to be down there. Whoops. And my one could be here or here. I'm going to throw it up there just because I have four consecutive ones. One, oh, slide that one down. So then we have our four consecutive on the top. Let's see, one and two, 
There's only one in this whole first column. Interesting. I feel like I'm kind of being haphazard. I'm going to try to be a little more methodical. Okay, four with our first row. We're good. One and one. I don't know if I want it in that. Can it be in the first one? So far it looks like it can. One, two, one, one, and then I need to have two. It can't go there. One and then three, it can't go there. One and one, it has to go there. Okay, second column we've got two, or second row we've got two, we're good. Three, that means we have to have one here. Oh, the well done surprised me. <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't think I was finished. You, you got it. Well done, Stains Mo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And a whole minute left. Whole minute to spare, yeah. Premature congratulations. Help, <laughs> helped you out a little bit. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you.